Hello and welcome to Weaklings, the show that believes we'll never see real progress until Barack Obama has the courage to address our nation as girl. Today's a very special episode of Weaklings as I'm joined by Guy Branham, Brian Safi, and Jeffrey Self, aka my three fellow gay Beatles. We're performing tonight at UCB, you should buy a ticket. But until then, watch us play our favorite game where we decide which Golden Girl, Spice Girl, and First Lady best define us. Ready? If I were a First Lady, I would be Mamie Eisenhower because where is her legacy? No one talks about her. I would be for sure be her, like a ninja. I would definitely be Dolly Madison, because if I were in a building that was on fire, I'd be very concerned about the artwork. <laughs> the Gilbert Stewart original would be coming with me. <laughs> if I were a first lady, I would be either Annette Benning from The American President or Scorny Weaver from Dave, because I thought that thing she pulled, where she asked him about the state legislature to figure out whether he was really Dave or was actually that other Kevin Klein, uh, was very savvy. Woodrow Wilson's wife yeah. is buried okay. in my hometown. Oh. So her. If I were a golden girl, I would for sure be uh, Rue McClanahan because I. it better be true that in my golden years, that's when I'm going to have sex the most. I just have to believe that that is true in my life. Um, I've seen actually only about three episodes of The Golden Girls, but I think from what I remember, my favorite was Jack Hay. I mean, I'm a Dorothy. I'm sorry. We're all Dorothys, aren't we? You want to be all of them. You want to be all of them. Sporty Spice because... She, to me, did have the best voice, but also um, was not sporty at all, except that she wore sports clothes. Like, she had no muscle definition. I'm a ginger. I mean, I'm a go-getter. Posh, because I value being emaciated, and I believe my most attractive quality is my thorax. Baby Spice. Because I like milk. Oh, if you had to be a famous Scientologist, which one would you be? Oh, I absolutely know. Uh, Lisa Marie Presley, because I'm thuggishly gorgeous. Leo Julia Lee. Lewis, because I'm a sneak attack. Leah Remini. I guess it looks like I'm stuck with Jenna Elfman again. <laughs> I would be Malin. I would be Sally Field because um, I really like it uh, when people look at me when I'm crying. I would be Clary because I have always dreamed of owning a local radio station. <laughs> what would your drag name be? Um, Beverly uh, Center. Uh, Penny Candy. Ooh, Mine would be Miranda Wright's Esquire. Whoa. I'm going to go with my old standby, Olympia Bukakis. That's mm, good. That is good. If I were a Yankee Candle, I would probably be football field. I would be Vanilla Tobacco because I am sweet but also bitter. Which was one of the new sense they had for men because I don't know what that smells like. If I were a Yankee Candle, I'd be this one. Fresh Linen. Retired supporting actress. And there you have it. Join us at Upright Citizens Brigade in Los Angeles tonight. This has been Weaklings, the show that considers Paul Ryan a monster named the Abdominal Snowman. Join us next week, Lings.